Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos, and today we're really pleased to have Adam, the core guru of the PA series. This is the PA 5X, we're using the 61 note version, and Adam's going to talk me through some of the, the new features and the ways that we're perhaps more used to it if we played a Yamaha before to learn about the differences and, and how this keyboard will most probably suit you really well. So we'll start off, Adam, by can I ask you to explain there's two main uh, ways to use this keyboard, to my understanding. One is called main, and one is called keys. And mm -hmm. uh, perhaps you can explain to me a little Certainly. bit. Certainly. So yeah, it difference. is very different. So we're familiar with, obviously with Yamaha, you've mm -hmm. got voices, and that, that's, that's the way. And then you build up those voices using upper one, upper two, upper three, and a lower sound. On Korg, we have an extra option for you. So the first thing is, if what you can see here, we've got key selected. This is the traditional way that we can select our sounds. So if I simply select upper one here, you can see all the different sounds here, just like they are on any traditional yeah, uh, arranger that. keyboard. What we also have is this main feature. So what main is, is we have a, a feature called keyboard set. And what we've managed to do in the factory back in Italy is we've actually thought, let's create some sound sets that people might want to use when they are creating their own presets. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I go into keys here, and let's just select the first sound. So here we go, this is a sound called Austrian Grand. So this is comprised of two voices. You can see that upper one and upper two are both selected. Yeah. If you nip, now nip across the keys, you can see even what those sounds are. And if I play, it's a beautiful Austrian Grand Piano. Now, what you can then do is if I mute out these two parts, if I take away this sound here, we're still left with that Austrian Grand. If I bring in the upper two sound, I don't know if you can hear that at home, but you're getting all the noises that that piano would make. Everything from the string resonance of the strings when I press the sustain pedal, or the hammers actually it, uh, touching the string. So you're getting a really nice, complete sound. What would we use it for? Well, for example, let's say, for example, we like to play Glenn Miller. Mm -hmm. We like creating a lot of Glenn Miller sounds. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, normally when we create that registration, you would then think, right, I need a saxophone and I need a clarinet. Put those in upper one and upper two. I might change the octaves. I might add some effects to that. Mm -hmm. But then every time you do another Glenn Miller registration, you almost have to recreate that sound setup again. Yeah. With keyboard set, what that allows us to do is set a, 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 our, our own combination of our favorite sounds and then simply press and hold the keyboard set button, any of these buttons here, and give it a name. So you might want to call it Glenn Miller Reads. So that next time you are creating your own registration, mm -hmm. you can actually use a keyboard set because that's one you've prepared earlier. Right. But what we've done when you buy your PA instrument is we've filled up those banks with many, many different combinations of what we think are our favorite sounds and our favorite combinations. So the, the main feature has lots of combination sounds that you've made. Yep but we can add our own into it using the button to yep. save. Yep. And that will just add you into the You can add into area. that and add and okay. create more. And each one has up to three parts and three yep. voices. So you can have three parts, so upper one, upper two, upper three. You can add a lower if you wanted to as well. You can change any of the uh, mixer elements. So you could change what octave that keys, uh, upper one is playing at. Might be different to upper two. You might want to add some effects. You might want to do change the sound in any way that you want. You might want to edit the sound. You might yes. want to change the cutoffs, the filters. You might want to do some real deep editing of that sound. Mm -hmm. But then with one button press, it allows you instantly to store that as your favorite and you sound. you can name it as well. You can name it, yeah. Okay. So the, the main is going to give us loads of sounds which are pre-made using all the voices within the instrument. That's up great. Three upper and one lower. Yep. You can save them by pressing one button. Yep. And that creates a kind of a voice, but it's in the main section, which means it's a combination of, yeah. of the sounds. It's a different way of thinking. And, yeah. and, and us at home, we might want to start with the keys section mm -hmm. and build up our, our sounds that we would do normal with, you know, with any traditional arranger type product by layering sounds. You know, a piano, you've got strings, put them together. Yes. You know, you can still do all of that. But if you have a play about in main, you might find that there's some really nice presets in here that you'd not even 
dreamt of going together. There's some really nice uh, ideas for you. Uh, one of my favourites is this upright atmosphere. So this now takes all four, all yeah. four sounds. So it, it's a piano sound. If we look at how that sound is created, it's a pad, it's strings, it's this atmospheric melody and a Japanese upright. I would never have put those sounds together. So it's a really nice idea to, to almost help you on your journey in creating your sounds and putting it together. It's a really nice sort of ABBA type sound yeah. because it's that, you wouldn't, as I say, you wouldn't dream of putting those sounds yeah. together. So they're really nice. Uh, ways of almost sparking, you know, when, you, when you're playing, you might pick a sound and think, I know a sound, a song I can play with that. Yes. And there's hundreds in there for you to use. Okay. And these are in every single section? So you've Every categories. single are they section. The same categories yeah, they do, the they do mirror up to some degree. You've got piano, electric piano, organ, guitar, strings and brass, trumpet, sax, woodwind, synth and world. But then obviously if you've created your own, they will just appear there. I've created a couple for today. Mm -hmm. So for example, Mantovani strings. Brilliant. It's a yeah. preset that everybody tends to ask for. How do you create it? Well, normally we pick a string sound. We might want to change the release to give it that long kind of release uh, sound. We might want to change the, the effects on there. Mm -hmm. So now this sound that I've made, You know, and it's a sound that isn't on the key, but I've made that myself. Mm -hmm. And how I've got that, you can see, that's how I've got the sound. I've, I've got th four different sounds playing at once. I've changed the release on the sound. I've added a different effect. So all I did is press and held it, gave it a name, yep. and then it's there for me to select as if it was a normal sound. And presumably we could make an edit to that and save mm. it as another version. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is version. what I did. Uh, oh, okay. I'm glad you said that. So if we're going to main again, Mantor Waltz. Yeah. It's a very similar sound, but you can hear it now, the release on there's that. Loads is, release. There's loads of release. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So all I did is took that same sound and just changed it a little bit more. Okay. So that's how you would select your own keyboard sets. And if we wanted to just try to do one now, could we change one sound for a piano or something? Yeah, for example, if we went into here and then we went to keys, We've got our four sounds there. So let's take out the lower mm -hmm. and then we'll change that sound there to a piano. Piano pad, what's that one? So we'll like that one. So all you do is then press and hold it and it says, where do you want to save it to and what do you want to name it? Well, I'm going to leave it in that user one and I'm going to just name it Manto Piano. Press OK. So there we go, it's gonna go into user one. There's the name, save. Very and then cool, now, when I go into my keyboard set section, there it is. That is so so cool. it's so easy to do. Yeah. Then what you can even do as well is you can name all these tabs. So you wanna might wanna do a big bands. You know, like when you go into your voice category here, you can see all these names. Yeah. You can do that in user if you wanted to. You could name one big band, you could name one pop favourites, you could name one guitar, brass, strings. These are the sounds that I use on a Saturday night. Then, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so you can yeah. find it. But the other thing is as well, is something that is often overlooked on, a, on the PA products is we have a very, very powerful search feature. Mm -hmm. and, and that's just below the screen here, search. So basically what this allows us to do is search for any piece of information on the keyboard. So for example, if we want, we, we've got style, we can search for pads, songs, songbook entries, um, solo sounds, guitar presets, lyrics even. So if I just switch to sound um, and just type in piano, all the sounds, all the sounds that have the, the wording piano in it will yeah. appear in a big long list. That's and it great. even tells you where they are. Yeah. So you've got your general MIDI ones there, we've got favorite upright piano, so there's some lots of legacy pianos in there. So we, we, it will always tell you where they are and then you just simply select it and then away you go and that so sound great. is then selected. So is this instead of registration banks as we're used to it? No, I, I think it's an addition to a registration okay. bank because you can still create registrations in the normal way. Yeah. So you can say, what we do in the UK is we find a song 
in a in a, a piece of sheet music or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we create a registration for that song. Yes. So for example, if we were doing Moon River, we might select a, a slow swing, we might select some sounds, press and hold it. On this keyboard, you can actually say, I'm going to call it Moon River. I'm going to put the name of the artist in. I'm going to put what key I play it in. I'm going to set the right tempo. So you can still do all of that, yes. but you might use the sounds that you've created last week when you were doing some James Last presets or whatever. Yes. You can pull those sounds and use them whenever you want. So in the main, the sounds that we're, we're naming can be used then for a bigger setting with the rhythm as yeah, well. Absolutely. And none of the rhythms are saved in these. These are just sound chains. Sounds. Yeah. And what are they called? They're called... <clears throat> so, sorry, it, it, just one other thing, just mm -hmm. while we're on that. I, I actually know players that use PA products that actually play using the registrations in reverse. So what we do is we create a, a registration for a song based around a style. Yes, I'm familiar. So for example, I, there's a friend of mine that, that has a PA5X and a 4X before him. And what he used to do is he used to, he played for ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. So what he would do is he would actually use his keyboard sets as a way of creating a registration. So for example, in my user section here, he would have Latin, uh, so he would have sort of samba, rumba, begin, uh, cha cha, you know, uh, slow waltz. He would have all these different dances in his sounds. Yeah. And then what he would do, he'd simply say, Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play a samba. Pick a samba rhythm and then open up his samba page, and all his samba sounds are there. Yes. So it would almost create a registration the other way around, which is yes. an interesting way. Because a lot of people are used playing. to freezing the style. Yeah. So you might as well choose the style you want and have all the settings mm -hmm. from this section. So what you're saying is we can name the groups of these yep. and have them all in different categories. Yeah, if we wanted to do that. Music. So yeah, it's, it's a very powerful way of, of using the PA5X yeah. and it's a way that isn't familiar. So it's, But it's, it's similar. It's, sim it's easier to use than having to put a group every time together of mm -hmm. all of the same sounds because you can just name <clears> them, <throat> hold them down and we, say... We've all done name. it. We've all created that amazing sound and then when you're creating another registration, you think, right, what did I do? So then you reload up the other one again, write it down, yeah. then go back to your new registration that you're creating and try and recreate that again. Yes. But with this way, you can just, whenever you have a great idea, whenever you think of uh, two instruments that might go together and you think, wow, that really works. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I know I will use that at some point. Yes. Press and hold it and just store it. It's very, very you might want to. You might want to have a folder that just says ideas or templates of, of different yeah. ideas of sounds that go together. Oh, thank you, that's really good.